Hey guys, uh, I believe I found, finally found a uh, front view camera that I can use in my Golf Mark 7 project. So, this is it. This is, uh, this is the box that it came in. I will post a link to Allegro in the description as well as to AliExpress. I bought it from Allegro, but I believe you can find it on AliExpress as well. It came with a bunch of wiring. I have my test setup over here. So this is a display which I can use to try out the uh, camera. Over here I have my uh, field of view test uh, um, piece of paper, 12 volts. So let's connect it and let's check how wide are those um, field of view angles. This is how I'm going to test it. So the camera is aligned with the center of uh, this gauge. I have uh, this yellow tape over here and you can see that the camera is just above the uh, beginning of the piece of paper. And over here I have live view from the camera. You can see that it's aligned perfectly. And over here in this corner and over here in this corner, we can actually see this yellow tape. So it goes, it goes beyond the 180 degree field of view uh, over here diagonally, diagonally. But over here we go, well, 165. Let me check. 165 would be somewhere here. Yeah. Maybe let's move it a little bit closer. Here's my finger. Yeah, 165. Well, 15, 19 minus 15, that's 75. 75 plus, uh, times two, that's 150 field of view over here. Yeah, so I believe this will be sufficient, way better than the previous one. Okay, so I believe we can try to install it in Golf Mark 7. So after a few tries, I've removed this piece of element, drilled a hole over here, placed the camera and glued into, into the correct position, making sure that it's aligned properly with the center of the, uh, of the element and it's not crooked in either of the ways. And if you want to remove this element, you have two Torx T25 or T20, not sure right now, two screws that you need to remove and there are four locks over here in those holes so you need to press over here and uh, apply some pressure to pull it towards the front of the vehicle and once you do that you can just lift it up and this whole element with the badge goes uh, straight out then as I said I need to drill a hole place the camera in place and right now I have my test setup over here so a bunch of wires I have power from the battery so power and ground connection over here to the power connector of the camera wiring goes over here this is just a temporary solution and over here I have the video feed that goes into my vehicle and if you watch the part one of this tutorial you mm, probably know the deal over here I have a relay which I'm controlling with uh, with a button, which is over here. And this relay is uh, switching between the original feed from the rear view camera to the feed from the front camera. I have a RCA or change connector over here with the feed from the front camera. So let's check how this works. Power to the system. Next. Engage the, engage the camera. So we have view from the rear camera with the dynamic lines. We have the uh, small car pop-up over here. And right now we have power for the relay and control of the relay. And we have view from the front camera. You don't have the dynamic uh, lines because those are generated by the camera itself. So the rear camera generates those lines for itself and the front camera doesn't have such option and we still have the pop-up because this is generated by the uh, by the MIB by the MIB unit based on the signal from the parking sensors yeah we have some information about obstacles so we have the view from the front of the vehicle we can switch to the back to the front and I have to say that I want to tilt the camera a little bit lower. 
because I want to see the see the area just in front of the vehicle. I'm not interested as much in looking forward, but more in looking a little bit downwards. And I've made, made a little bit of adjustment. So right now we can see a lot more in front of the car. So it's tilted a little bit, a little bit downwards. Let me show you how this looks. Here you can see it. This is how the camera looks over here. And this is how much space is in front of the vehicle. So we have one, two, three, four tiles in front of the car. And we can see one, two of them on the display. I would love to remove this notification because it's taking the area from the display, but well, I don't think there's, there's something that I can do about this, but well, maybe there's some adaptation in the 5F module in MIB. Okay, either way, let me show you how I'm planning to wire it from the cabin to the engine bay. So over here, somewhere over here, somewhere deep inside there, I'm not sure if you can see this black plastic thing over here. I believe this is the place where you can wire, wire stuff to the engine bay. But over here you would have to remove the battery to access this pass through through the firewall. Okay, so that's it for today. Wait for part three and see you soon.